some good news for all you electric car fans out there. One in four electric cars sold in 2025 will be electric worldwide. Next year, the numbers will be significantly higher than that. But before we get into this, what I think is some very interesting information, let's have a quick look at some good news. Hopefully, this is the start of your day, and as a result, your day is a, a super positive one. Global solar installations are on track to reach 855 gigawatt hours, or I should say 855 gigawatts in 2025. That's about a 10 or 11% increase from 2024's numbers, according to Solar Power Europe's forecasts. In the UK, sales of electric vans doubled in April from one year before, according to New Automotive. In fact, electric car sales in the UK have just hit 32% meaning around one in every three cars sold is fully electric now in the UK. All share of Poland's electricity mix fell to a new low of 47% thanks to wind, solar and batteries. Wind and solar's share of the global electricity mix reached a new monthly high of 19% in March. 19% in March, likely to hit around 20% in April. Solar and wind projects now account for 59% of China's energy investments in Africa, per the South China Morning Post. Solar and wind accounted for 98% of new electricity generating capacity in the US in the first quarter of 2025, despite efforts by the new president to unravel clean energy efforts, said reneweconomy.com.au. U.S. crude oil production will probably drop slightly next year. Global Commodity Insights says an oil production in the, well, what is really the world's largest economy, China, has begun to decrease as demand for oil is going down. It will never again hit the highs that it, basically that it hit last year as a result of electric cars. So getting back to the story here of electric cars being, well, increasing their sales worldwide. More than one in cars, one in four cars sold worldwide in 2025 are going to be electric cars. That's uh, due to a new report from the International Energy Agency. And if EVs stay on track, they will likely hit around, well, more than 40% of all car sales in 2030, says the IEA. Now, I believe it'll hit more than well over 50%. In fact, I'd say more likely 60%. And the reason is because of electric car sales in China increasing so quickly, and also in Europe as well this year. However, the IEA's Global EV Outlook 2025 report released today shows the electric car market is still charging ahead, even with some, well, some speed bumps probably created more by the media than anything else. Despite economic pressures on the automotive sector, EV sales hit a record 17 million in 2024, pushing the global market share past 20% for the first time. The momentum carried into early 2025 with EV sales jumping 35% in the first quarter year over year. All major markets saw record-breaking Q1 numbers. 35% increase in EV sales this year versus last year is not what the media have been telling us. They keep telling us EV sales are slowing and clearly you can see they're not. China continues to lead the EV race, of course, by a large margin. I think you all probably know that. Nearly half the cars sold there in 2024 were electric. That's over 11 million electric cars, more than the entire world sold just two years prior. EV adoption is increasing in emerging markets across Asia and Latin America, where sales shot up by more than 60% last year. Now, returning to China for a moment, last month, the month of April, Around 54% of all cars sold were electric, either plug-in hybrids or fully electric, but most of them were fully electric. In the US, EV sales grew around 10% year over year, a bit less than their uh, other, the, the other two large markets, China and Europe. Electric vehicle sales now made up over 10% of all new car sales. Europe's EV sales hit a plateau as government incentives started to taper off the continent's market share held steady at around 20%. But in some places, like the UK, it has skyrocketed. And even in Germany recently, numbers have gone up significantly. So what's driving this increase in electric car sales? Well, it really does come down to cost parity. 
The average cost of an electric car dropped in 2024 thanks to increased competition, particularly from China, and massively crashing battery prices. The prices of batteries have come down by around 50% over the past 18 months. In China, two-thirds of EVs sold last year were cheaper than their gas-powered equivalents, which is insane. Incredible. That's without subsidies. In markets like the US and Germany, EVs are still more expensive up front, around 30% more expensive in the US, depending on the segment, and 20% more in Germany. But that will change. EV prices will continue to drop, and as a result, the, we're going to find pretty soon that the same situation playing out in China will play out across the rest of the world. Electric car prices will be cheaper than what it will cost to buy an equivalent internal combustion engine vehicle. And that'll apply to, that'll apply to all segments eventually. And at that point in time, I don't see there being a real good argument for why people would want to buy an internal combustion car, especially when range and charging speed improve every single year. So guys, what are your thoughts on, on all of this? As you can see, there's some pretty good stuff going on this year. There's a lot of negative headlines, but wind, solar, and batteries, their deployment is increasing massively, particularly battery inst installations, large battery installations, and home batteries as well, absolutely skyrocketing this year, along with more than a 30% increase in EV sales. I think this is actually a really good story. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. You know, guys, we often talk about China, about Europe, and about the United States car markets, and even about Australia as well. But we often don't think that there is a big car market in Brazil. And electric car sales in Brazil are skyrocketing. There's one big beneficiary, one car company that's taking huge advantage of this opportunity. And here's who they are. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. What's happening in Brazil? Well, for one, electric car sales have grown by a staggering 55% year over year. 55%. This is a market where electric cars are becoming increasingly popular, it seems almost by the day. Brazil have broken record after record. Clean Technica says that in 2024, they sold more than 100,000 electric cars, making it one of the few countries worldwide to have reached that number. In February of 2025, they sold over 10,000 electric cars for the fifth month in a row. And for the third month in a row, Brazil achieved an EV market share of more than 5%. In fact, they hit 6% in January, making it the fourth most advanced Latin American country in the path towards electrification. 6% doesn't sound like much, right? But it does mean Brazil has passed the tipping point. And it's also worth pointing out the fact that Brazil is well and truly open to doing business with Chinese car companies. There's no blockades on Chinese car cars. There's no huge tariffs. So the Chinese are saying, well, okay, that's the market that we can target. As Brazil's market exploded in late 2023 and early 2024, EV sales skyrocketed. And there was numbers like apparently plus 1,100%, which sounded crazy, but the base was quite small. 